Hello, and welcome back to another video on how to create a Discord Python bot. So today we're going to implement a function where you can type in a query and you'll get a result based on that query. So this query could either be what is the capital of France? What is the population in Estonia? Something like this. What you would normally be able to type in Wolfram Alpha. You can also type in something like two plus two. You'll get a result and this result is what we want to display. So we're going to use Wolfram Alpha's API to achieve this. All right, so to do this, we just need an API key. And it's actually free, as long as you stay within a limit of 2,000 non-commercial API calls per month, which is quite a lot, I think. All right, so what you need to do is just go to products, wolframalpha.com slash API. I'll put the link down in the video description. And then you need to press this get API access button here. And this will take you to sign up screen. I've already done this, so I'm just gonna show you basically this page where it also says how to do this and get started but it's quite easy you just need to fill out one formula um, and then you've got the api key and once you've done this you go back to your editor of choice and implement the commands so let's do that so let's make a command and let's call this command uh, oracle and it takes a context and it takes a query. And let's take the, so all the words in the query and let's join them by plus. I'll get to why we do that in a minute. So the URL that we need to do this is HTTPS. I'll put this uh, in the video description as well api.volframalpha.com slash version one. So there's multiple versions of this. We're going to use a simple API. There's also a full API, which would be version two and some different parameters for this uh, URL. Essentially, we're making a get request, HTTP get request um, with a certain number of parameters. And yeah, you can also use the full API. We're just going to use a simple one. And you want to uh, you want to write this as well, and then we want to give the query and the app ID as well, like the uh, the key. Let's actually specify the key first. So app ID equal to, and then so you need the key once you signed up, and this is what you want want to place in here. Okay. Now I wrote it in a different file called uh, ball from alpha. API key. Oh, like uh, I have this keys.py file, which is git ignored, so it won't sort of appear in the git repository. I recommend that you do that if you have a git repository. If it's just on your home computer, uh, then it's fine. You can just put it directly in. Just make sure that nobody else can see this. It is essentially your password, kind of. Uh, right. And then we also want to give the query as a parameter. So just write n percent and then i equal to query there we go and then we want to write percent 3f all right moving on we want to just fetch the response that we get back so let's use requests um like the request library for python to make the get request so if you haven't already, make sure to import this. I have it right here already from a previous command. So we get a response back uh, if we make this get request. And let's say if this response status code is um, 501. This is the number I saw in the documentation. This is essentially if Wolfram Alpha is unable to process that query. Let's say you type something like completely random in some gibberish, then Alpha Alpha would reply with the, like it didn't understand the request, but we can write our own sort of response or like to the user of the command in this case. So let's write ctx.send and unable to process that query, let's say. You can write it whatever you want, basically. And let's just return because it won't really work. Otherwise, let's simply, you know, send the response dot text and that is actually all you need to do to get this up and running it's very very simple so let's test this out all right i'm just 
just going to start the bot and go to Discord, which is right here. So let's try something. Let's try and write Oracle and then 2 plus 2, let's say. And there we go. The result is 4. Well, that's not too surprising. Let's try something more, I don't know, uh, a little bit more tricky. Let's uh, try and challenge this Terminator bot here. All right. Uh, let's try with the square root of pi times uh, three point uh, this. Okay, there you go. Let's try something in text. Let's try what is the capital of Latvia? There we go. Riga. Okay, it also wrote Latvia. We already knew that, but. You know, it, it seems to work, right? But if you touch something like, um, hello, I don't really know what the heck this query is. Hello, hello. It's probably not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna be able to process that query. But as you can see, it is so simple to add this functionality to your bot. So yeah, I hope you, find this useful and yeah play around with it if you want also if you're interested you can check out the other videos i've posted on the channel where we will also like implement some useful features like translating text or we might actually also take a look at some of the other Waltham alpha uh, api uh, like things you can do but for now i guess this will be it so goodbye goodbye if i can spell it correctly Okay, yeah, fair enough. Anyway, I'll see you around. Take care.